Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. Today we are going to take a deep dive into AutoGen, a development framework of conversational AI applications provided by Microsoft. This open source framework is completely extending the way we develop applications for LLM agents. So without further ado, let's dive in. Look at a complete chart from AutoGen's blog post. AutoGen facilitates the creation of various conversation patterns for intricate flow workflows offering customizable and conversable agents. This allowed developers to construct a broad spectrum of conversation patterns, which relating to conversation autonomy, the number of agents, and um, conversation architecture, like this joint chart where each agent in the group can discuss democratically, or hierarchical chat where one authority role manages the messenger flow. Let's take a look at an impressive but simple example I'm making here. There are three agents in the group conversation. They are a user proxy who performs a functional tool set, including using a prompt handler of this conversation, a coder to analyze and generate source code according to the requirements of user proxy, and a researcher who will extract the received content for valuable information. A typical chat flow will be like this. First, a user proxy receives human input and send it to the coder. The coder generates source code and send it back to user proxy. Then the user proxy executes the code in its local environment, but something fails and send back to the failure log. The coder regenerates the code and send it back again. The user proxy uh, runs the code, which function is maybe about scrapping the article from some API, send the article to the researcher. The researcher will do an analysis of the article, find the variable uh, information and generate a final answer based on that information to human prompt. Please note that for easy demonstration, each conversation looks one-on-one -on -one style in this animation, but actually every message can be viewed by all agents in this demo. Pretty cool, right? Things get even easier when we talk about um, Python programming with AutoGen. AutoGen provides Python SDK and natural language prompts to craft the interaction between those conversable agents, which allows the developers to have the ability to map out complicated workflows, uh, whether it's one-on-one -on -one di dialogues, uh, group chats, or dynamic conversations that pivot based on uh, context, uh, Autogen does it all. Let's see how quickly we implement an application of the example. Assuming we are going to develop a group chat to generate user queries for a movie Oppenheimer. Firstly, install the dependencies, assuming we are going to use GPT-4 model. Then create a configuration for LLM. All the OpenAI models are supported as well as the same models called from Azure subscription. Uh, please note that the random number seed for identifying the session cache is defined to optimize performance and cost efficiently. Uh, now let's create the first agent user proxy that has the ability to run the code. The argument in code execution config is defined for managing the code execution process. The last in messages is the number of the messages to look back for code execution. And the work DIR is the working uh, directory for the code execution. In this case, we allow the user input to terminate terminate the entire conversation by select as human input model. You can also set it to never, that doesn't require human interaction. The second agent is an AI driven software coder who can write Python code based on conversation content like requests and runtime outputs. The third agent is another AI um, driven one called a uh, history researcher who can answer historical questions uh, from reading materials. Consolidate these agents um, into a group chat. The max round argument is defined to control the total number of conversations from a cost perspective. Start a group chat with a single prompt. 
use a proxy initial chat uh, with a message um, like find the movie Oppenheimer using Wikipedia API and tell me whether the conversation between Oppenheimer and Einstein really exists in the history. It's time for the fun part, seeing how well your um, agents handle your task request. The coder is the first one to take action uh, on the query and generate the Python source code to scrap the information about Oppenheimer from Wikipedia. Uh, the tricky part of this coder is that there are several topics on Wikipedia talking about Oppenheimer, so it's necessary to generate code to list them and then let other agents decide which one is specified for the movie. As has been defined, the user proxy is responsible for running the code and delivering the output of the possible lists to uh, for Oppenheimer topics. This is the second round of code generation after the code knew which title uh, was the right one uh, for the movie on Wikipedia Oppenheimer film and then generate another source code that scrapped the uh, try to scrap the wiki content. Now the user proxy scrapped the wiki content by um, this code executing. Finally is the job of uh, the history researcher uh, to find the answers to historical facts from the text uh, materials. Uh, this agent gave a quite uh, professional answers about whether Oppenheimer and Einstein uh, had that particular conversation in real history, which happened in the movie, if you uh, watch the movie. Since the final answer was generated, the conversation is ready for uh, termination. That's not all, folks. Um, Autogen comes to creating more robust conversational AI apps, whether it's mathematics, coding, and games. Autogen provides you the key solution to reduce development effort, essentially um, enabling the creation of any functional domain you can think of. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating, and I'll catch you in the next one.